The next word is Anko Uma. Anko Uma. It can also be pronounced Anko Uma. It is spelled A N C O H U M A. It is a mountain peak 20,958 feet in western Bolivia, highest in the Ilampu ma Massif. The next word is Ankenchief. It can also be pronounced Ankenchief. Sheep. It is spelled A N C O N S H E E P or A N C O N. It is a short leg of achondroplastic sheep. It is also such as a sheep of an extinct strain or breed formerly maintained in Massachusetts. It is no Latin ankin from their short, crooked legs. The next word is. Ancona. Ancona. It can also be pronounced Ancona. It is spelled A N C O N A. It is a city on board on, on the Adriatic Sea in central Italy. It is the capital of the region of Marsh. The next word is Anconal. It can also be pronounced Anconial. It is spelled A N C O N A L or A N C O N E A L. It means of relating to or belonging to the elbow. Anconal pain. It is new Latin ankin elbow from Greek ancon plus English ul eel. The next word is anconius. It is spelled a n c o n e u s. It is a small triangular extensor muscle superficially situated behind and below the elbow joint. It is new Latin from ancon. Plus Latin es es. The next word is ankin, ankeny. It is spelled a n c o n y. It is a piece of iron wrought in the shape of a bar in the middle and left red at the ends. It is of unknown origin. The next word is ancre. It is spelled a n c r e e. It means having the end of each arm divided into two recurving points like the flukes of an anchor. Usually used opposed positively. It is French ancre from ancre anchor from Latin ancora ancora plus e from Latin aedis aid. The next word is anchored. It is spelled a n c r e d. It means ancre. Is a probably modification of French ancre. The next word is ancorous. Ancorous. It can also be pronounced ancorous. Ancorous. It is spelled a n c h o r e s s or a n c r e s s. It is a woman who is an anchorite. It is Middle English ancorous from ancorous from anchor anchor hermit plus s s. The next word is. Ancrod. Ancrod. It is spelled A N C R O D. It is a protease obtained from a venom of the Malayan pit viper that that cleaves a fibrinogen in the blood is in use as an anticoagulant in the treatment of prevention of thrombosis. Researchers were investigating whether ancrod, a drug made out of steak's venom, can effectively break up clots and restore normal blood flow to patients who suffer ischemic stroke. It is probably from ancestrodon, variant spelling with regular, with regularized transliteration of Greek, the genus name agkistrodon from agkistrodon.